Hello everybody, this is your boy Rome. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about reggae boys, reggae girls, Manchester United, Ten Hag, the academy, and the Manchester United um, female team. But before we go any further, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, referee, blow whistle. Let's go. So we know that the Nation Cup is coming up sometime in June. There'll be games in June and it seems like it's going to be one of those days where we don't know what team the reggae boys will be picking for this Nations Cup. But what we do know is that Paul Howe will be bringing his own flavor, his own desire, his own liking to the team. We don't know if it's going to be a young team of young JPL players in Jamaica. Is it going to be a senior team from players from Europe, players from America? Or will it be a mixture of two? And I do feel like it's going to be a mixture of two. I do feel like it's going to bring the senior team and also bring the young talents that has come from Jamaica, just to bring them into the team and blend them in. And, you know, we want to see a mixture of that into the team because we're still trying to figure out the way our Paul Hall wants to play. We want to see how he's playing and how he wants the team playing. And I'm looking forward to seeing those games coming in. It's going to be a tough group, Mexico, Serena, and, and, the, and the lights. But we want to see how they progress. I'd love to see how they progress. I'd love to see them go into the semi-final, maybe the final. So let's see how this tournament works out. Um, looking forward to it. Next thing is the reggae girls. So international teams is playing now. The females are out playing. And it's very good to see Bonisha playing for Manchester City, going out every day, playing, scoring goals and all that stuff. I, of course, she came from um, France. I think she came from Lyon. And at first, I thought she was going to Man U, but Man City. And I like the fact that she's playing football and she's setting a pinnacle for all the guys that who are coming in from Jamaica who used to play for um play in colleges in America. I've been playing overseas just to show that listen, we have talent in our country, left, right and centre. And we need to bring that up and cherish that and 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 I like the fact that she's doing that and she's being the pinnacle of football and I like it. Don't like the fact that she's playing for Man City, but me give her a pass because hey, a bunny shah. Big of yourself, Bonisha, Manas. Now we talk about Manchester United. Okay, so it seems like it's it's it seems like Manchester United will be announced in Ten Hag soon. It's journalists all over Europe are speaking about it. We're talking about Fabrizio Romano. Multiple journalists coming out, man from ESPN coming out saying, "Hey, Ten Hag will be the new manager." It hasn't been announced yet by Manchester United, but Ten Hag inevitably will be the new manager. And with that said, I like the idea of having Ten Hag at Manchester United. I like the idea of having this coach at Manchester United. Not because he's a serial winner with Ajax. We know that the league in Ajax is not, not higher for quality. But what I do like is that he's been able to build a team from the get-go. And every year has to rebuild that team because they lose players. Right, and every year he has to rebuild it and rebuild and rebuild, and he's done that every year. So he knows how to bring a team up from scratch. And I'm looking forward to seeing him dismantle this current squad and bring up back a new squad. And in his liking, in his own, with a director of football, assistant director of football, with the the new coach who's going to be a a a, a, a liaison, however he is, um in in the future. So I'm looking forward to seeing Ten Hag growing into the team and growing into his skin while he plays. And in one or two years, I want to see him challenging for the title, winning trophies every single year. So looking forward to it. We know that Ten Hag will bring in names. Are, we know that he will, journalists will be putting out names that he'll be bringing in. They've gone out and saying how Ten Hag will bring in this, bring in that. Some of the names that Ten Hag, some of the names that you'll be calling when it comes to Ten Hag at Manchester United, of course, Harry Kane. Now, that, that probably comes because of Manchester United links with Harry Kane. Um, 
Calvin, Calvin Phillips, Jude Bellingham, Declan Rice, and then you have the names that come attached to Declan, to, to Ten Hag, like Anthony, Timber, all of those guys. Timber and Anthony looks very, very good, especially Anthony. I'm looking forward to see if we can, you know, sign on that line and get him over at Manchester United. He could be a right side of midfielder, which would be perfect. But hey, who knows, Sam? Who knows? Um, so down to the academy now. Um, the youth FA Cup has got to the finals and Manchester United is in it. We just learned that um, our opponents for that finals will be Nottingham Forest. They'll be Chelsea 3 1, I think. And it's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to seeing the youth team go out there and push out and put up on them and show them what we can do. This team is doing great um, in, in, in the league. And not the best, but they're doing great and they make it to the final, which is awesome. The first final since 2010, I think. So I'm looking forward to seeing him, seeing Ganacho, Charlie, Charlie McNeil, a lot of these players come out here. Mayno, which is going to be a beast in the future. This man looks exactly like, like Pogba. Egg, well, not, not by looks, but by the way he play. I'm looking forward to seeing Mino playing again like this next year and then push himself into to, to the first team because he's really, really good. I don't want to put too much pressure on him, but I think Mino is going to be really good for the future. So look out for that as well. Um, also, when it comes to Loney's, two people we need to talk about. First one is James Garner. Now, James Garner has been killing this season. He scored, eight goals, scored four goals. Assist four, and he's doing very, very good in the middle of the park. No, he started off at Nottingham Forest as the first coach, and then halfway to you know they lost the coach and they brought in the new coach. And like for the first two hours of game, they we weren't playing him, but then he got that fourth game when he got injured. And when that man came on and started playing, he has never looked back. Never looked back ever since then. He has played every game since then, non-stop. And for a young 21-year-old who's enthusiastic and fit, he's just going to run, 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 run. And he's doing a great job at Nottingham Forest. I'm hoping that the rest of the season remains injury-free. I hope he gets hurt and comes back at Manchester United with Ten Hag at helm and just sit down, put his head down, and make it back to the team because he's going to be a beast. Peace, peace, peace. Now, Ethan Lear is the next name. Ethan Lear had a very good season last year. He started off well this year as well. Um, first half of the season, he was good with Swansea. Very good, as a matter of fact. And then, you know, Manchester United decided, all right, we're going to push him up the field and have him play for Bournemouth. Now, this was a good decision in my, in my point because I thought, all right, now he's fighting for a championship. Maybe he's, he has a lot more importance on the games and stuff, so maybe he'll fight more. But then he got injured, and he's never been on the field ever since. I'm hoping that he can, you know, stretch this and get rid of his injury woes for next for the remainder of the season. But I don't think that he he hasn't placed himself in a in a light where he can be fit for the team. If he's not fit for the team, he's not fit to play. But I do hope that he can get better and get ready because he's, he's going to be a very, very good player. He's Jamaican and England has a plethora of right backs. A plethora of right backs. Plethora. Tommy Cash, or whatever is Cash's name. Reese James, boy from Liverpool. A plethora of right backs. So we can take this opportunity as Jamaica as Jamaicans, to reach out to the JFF and say, yo, you have this little man, it's right back from Manchester, Ethan Leard. Get him in, fam. Get him in. And then, lastly, the female team, the women's team. Now, Manchester United started playing females about three or four years ago. When they got into the league in the championship, you know, they got into the championship, they won the championship, practically anyway. And then, after about the first two or three years, they started playing, you know, playing high quality quality football as they were playing Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, all those teams. And you know, they had to build their team. Last year, um Casey Stoney left and then they brought this new coach who came from England who was from in um the USA and he brought in his 
you know, the old players brought in new players. And I must say, this is the fourth year that they're playing and they look really good. We're third right now in the league, which makes that, which makes us in a Champions League playoff spot, which is great. If we were to get past that playoff spot, that makes us in a Champions League, which is going to be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. And I love the fact that the coaches are putting these tasks and goals on the players and themselves and Manchester United so we can grow and build and win. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more. I'm looking forward to seeing Manchester United winning this league, winning the Champions League, becoming a big, big, big team in the Women's Premier League. And I'm looking forward to it. So, hey, can't fight that, fam. Can't fight that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the fourth official. Make sure you live good, love bad. Wear a mask, manners.